So today, we are living in a world full of stereotypes that we fail to realize that we all here are equal. No one is big, no one is short. No one is fat, no one is thin. We are all the same. We just have different perspectives, as said before. So I just want to know that why do you have to judge people so quickly? Why? We are living in a world where bullies get more attention than the bullied people. Where a video of one singing spreads faster than a disease. Where instead of helping and concluding an argument, we end up taking videos of the argument and just post it on social media. Why? Just tell me why. Why spread rumors? You just have one job, do your own job, do your own part, pay your own way and make your dream come true. That's what you have to do. That's it. Nothing else. I'm here to share my experience of writing. So when I started writing, what actually happened is I used to keep a small notebook, okay? That notebook was kept as a secret from my family. No one, nobody knows, alright? And I don't plan to tell them until now. So now it will be always up. So I kept it in my bag. It's always with me. Always. In school, at home, at work, anywhere, always with me. And one book I kept it in my pocket. Always. I don't, I don't have it now, but it's there. Sorry. So what I used to do is I used to write short poetry. I'm a Pakistani. So I write in Urdu. Basically in Urdu, but I prefer English as well. So when I used to write, I kept it hidden. But then one day I, I came back from school, one day I forgot to bring it at the school. And so I was so scared that one of my mom found out and she'll be like, oh, something is there, something is fishy in her mind. Why is she writing this all lovey dovey things? <laughs> so that's what happened. I was literally screaming my head off inside my head. I was like, Oh, my head will be chopped off when I go home. But when I stepped into the house, in front came in my mom. She's like, who the hell wrote this? I was like, oh, sorry, it's just me. No problem. Why do you write it? I was thankful that my father was not at home. If he was at home, they would have beaten me or scolded me or something. But if he was at home, he would chop my head off. Really? <laughs> So she opened the book. It was, I preferably do not write in Urdu because if I write in Urdu, my sister, my brother, my mother all can understand. My mother doesn't speak English nor does she know how to read. So that's why I usually write in Roman Urdu. That means in English. So my sister was apparently in that house that day. I don't know why. She doesn't have work that time. So she read it. She was like, ah, oh, there's something going fishy in your mind. What is it? Just tell me right now. I was like, no, oh, there's nothing fishy going in my mind. It's just me, my thoughts, nothing else. Just don't be judgmental, all right? She was like, no, we are going to judge you, we are your parents. It is our right to judge you. I was like, okay, judge me, but this is for a purpose. This is for my career. This is for my practicing. I don't know why people think that when we write poetry or when we write this love story stuff, I don't know that, others do. If they do, why don't parents understand that there is nothing happening with us that we write it? It's nothing, it's just, a, it's just our imagination. Then let's do our thing. Do yours, we do ours. That's it. But now, nothing happens. The next day, I woke up, I got my other book out and I was writing. When I was writing, I always locked the door, but that day apparently my lock fell off. I don't know why. So when that happened, <coughs> someone barged into the room and it was my father. Now when my father barged into the room, he said, what is this? Why did you tell us before? I was like, uh, sorry dad, it just happened, it's nothing, nothing much. I told them, it's my job to do what I love to do. You are, you are there to guide us. Just guidance, just support, moral support, everything. You are there for us. 
but it's my job to do to choose my own career so then that's my story that's it and then i don't know why people they think they only have two professions especially asians if you consider asians the indians and the pakistanis they only prefer two professions they are the doctor or the engineer that's it why why can't be a writer a poet a painter an artist a teacher why what's in this to a doctor and profession it, it will value the it will benefit you in the higher after like you will get money ah i can do my operation for free this will happen this will happen no you're not allowed to tell us what we need to do you have to pay your own part you don't have to let them take control of what you want to be remember future belongs to those who believe in the dreams that we see of today so start dreaming get up do your work and get started the next thing i want to say is we all have that one member maybe a family maybe a relative any member that just degrades us he has nothing to do with like Oh, you are this much? Okay, I'm this much. Look, you are this much? No, no, this much. Look, what is this? Like, you are all equal. Everyone here is equal. They don't understand this. They degrade us. No matter what work you do, no matter how hard you climb, just do, ah, oh, I can do that. It's nothing, I can do this. Why do you have to degrade others, discourage others, when you don't, when you don't have the value to encourage just be quiet just be shut don't say anything people try to be judgmental as soon as possible as you walk in the room for example in an interview if you walk in the room and straight up they'll be like oh if i walk like this they will be like i'm blocking myself i'm blocking myself from the interviewers why just be free just do what you want to do it's your life not theirs at the end you are going to regret listening to them and then you are going to go over up and you call up and at day and night you you going to cry cry yourself to sleep why being depressed the second thing i want to talk about so the fourth thing i want to talk about is depression now look when a person is depressed what is the use of keeping it late at night like why wake up at night if there's nothing in the night why at midnight you can you can be depressed at 3 am near your friends at party you can be depressed at that no one will know why do you have to curl up and cry when you know crying is not a solution to anything why cry just tell me the thing wrong is with people is there different perspectives and people don't understand the different perspectives they think your relatives your family your friends they all think we are all the same our minds are the same our perspectives are the same what we tell you you have to do the same no that's wrong sorry i disagree i completely disagree you are different i am different i pay my own part you pay your own part get it that's what happens Thank you.